Welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I'll be your host, Zykria, and we left our adventure in the Dark World, where he has to start his quest to rescue the Seven Maidens. Well, here we are, guys. Uh, this is the... A piece of heart. Excellent. This is the, uh... They call it like the Golden Pyramid or something. And uh, this is the Dark World. Things are not nearly as cute and cuddly in here. You got these dog things with spears. And if you hold the A button and pull, we get some rupees. You can get uh, four either green, red, or blue. So you can get as low as four rupees or as high as 80 rupees. Not too shabby. Still not the place that I go to grind money, but that's alright. So we are going to head over to the first dungeon in the Dark World. I believe it's called the Dark Palace. Alright, let's take out uh, that guy there. I don't even know what the hell he is. And in here, just like the Light World, we have a fairy! Alright, yeah, I need some hearts, so uh, fill me up. Fill me up. Sweet. Alright, so pretty much uh, the differences between the Dark World and the Light World, uh, the layout's almost the same, obviously the Dark World is darker, and, uh, but a lot of things, you know, the, the town's still in the same place, you know, the castle is now the pyramid, blah blah blah, and this is where Shinane used to be, oh wow, you are a bush. Okay, so the last guy who touched this head on. A heart that wasn't gold. Okay. Got it. Alright, well, that sucks for you, buddy. I'm going to bomb it with... No, not the mirror. What the hell? Alright, let's see what you got for me. Is it a treasure chest? No. It's just tarts. Well, you suck, Bush and Nene. I do not like you. All right. Well, this was obviously not the dark palace, so uh, let's keep let's keep hunting. Let's, let's, let's look. Are you over here? Nope. No, you are not. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Man, Link walks really funny. I like, I like, like a Smurf. Freaking walk really quick. Short legs. Short legs. Oh, well, I guess I should have just followed the arrows. Huh. Awesome. And we have upgraded spaghetti monsters. Yeah. Ooh, 20 rupees. We yeah, like it. Alright. Let's try to get through this maze thing. Oh, God. You can sort of see the discoloration, so you can kind of see where you need to go. It's, it's really not that hard. And we get out, and there's... Oh my god, it's a monkey! I love rupees. Well, well, I love rupees too. Fine. Yes, you have to give him the ten rupees, otherwise he won't follow you. And we need him. <laughs> oh, these bomb throwers. These guys are pains in the ass. They take so many hits. Oh, I'll take them. Well, that looks like that might be the Dark Palace. Let's, uh, see what that does for us. Let's just go on in with our monkey friend. Oh, I can't get in. 100 rupees? I don't want to give you 100 rupees to open it. Unfortunately, you do. If you don't give him the 100 rupees, you cannot continue with the game, folks. So, um, yeah, make sure that you have at least 110 rupees when you get to this point. 10 so that he sticks around with you, and 100 so that he, uh, will open the door for you. And this is Dungeon 1. Well, in the Dark World. So, oh, these guys are annoying. You cannot hit them in the head. You can only hit them in the ass. It's probably one of the most annoying things in the friggin' world in this game. So, right, so we'll take that left path. Get ourselves a little key. Alright, well, we're off to a good start. A little rupee. Rupee action. Alright, let's, let's go 
back and eh, eh, eh. Why won't you let me push you? Fine. Yep, there's a switch. Alrighty. Let's see where the right takes me. Really, really, game? You're gonna make me. Right, I'm gonna hit you with that. Ow! See, you can't hit him in the face, so you take the stupid skull pot. Smack. I told you guys, I love those pots. What can I say? Alright. Oh, it's Shinene. Oh, it's Zelda. Locked on Turtle Rock. <laughs> I know you're doing your best, but please hurry up. Typical females. Typical. No, I'm kidding. I'm not sexist at all. I'm not sexist. It's... My girlfriend doesn't usually get mad at me if I'm doing something too slow. Well, oh, because let's face it, folks, I don't do anything fast. Uh, I take my time. All right. Well, let's bomb a hole here. Freaking dodge these balloon things. And we have floating jellyfish. You guys are cool. The blue ones are easy. It's uh, the ones that we're going to face next. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Ah, uh, yes. These guys pretty much follow your move. Pretty simple. The green ones you can hit with your sword. And the red ones, you need your arrows. Alright, so just make them walk into it. Yes, yes, be an idiot. Excellent, excellent. Be my sheep. <clears throat> Yay, conveyor belts and traps. So much fun. Blue jellyfish. Oh, the orange ones. And they split. So, I don't know if any of you remember or watched my first Let's Play with the original Zelda, but those remind me of those stupid bat things, where when you hit them, they split into two bats. And if you remember, I hated those then, and guess what? I still hate them now. And even worse, they can sting me. And that is annoying as hell. Alright, well we got rid of them, and we got two cracks in these walls, so uh... Let's bomb to bomb 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 these things. Alright. <clears throat> What's over to the right? Fairies! Sweet! We need to uh, fill up on these. Alright. One fairy. Oh. Oh. No, I am failing. Alright. There we go. Alright. And we got our, our bottles all full of fairies. Yeah, I don't know what the hell those whack-a-mole things are, but uh, we can't do anything with them yet. We'll get a key. And really, really, you bastards show up again? I hate you. I hate you. Uh, Alright, let's just dash out there. Ow! It's alright. It's okay. Well, at least these guys didn't show up again. Hmm, let's have that. You know, I just realized I probably should have used my mirror. Teleported back to the beginning. Ah, sometimes I do not make the best choices. I tell you. Jeez. Leave it to me, please. Leave it to me. Alright. And we'll just open that. And, uh, well, I think we've done everything we can over in the left and the right side, so I guess we can, uh, go through the central. And let's see what we can't do over here. Oh, you have a key. That's easy enough now. Alright, and oh my, are those turtles without heads? Well, you can't beat them yet. Not yet. We need, a, we need a special item in order to defeat them. If we bomb here and fall, we always land on our feet. Link is like a cat. Carry this pot over my head just in case. Alright, here's our second key. <coughs> oh, a chest! And we get the big key, which is awesome because we haven't found the treasure of this dungeon yet, and uh, we will need that to open it. So let's go back in here and uh, jump down and see what else we can find over here. Freaking more turtles and... Oh, God! These skeleton things. Yeah, we'll hit them first. 
All right, we'll get another key. And uh, we have another platform, or teleporter. And it throws us back here. Once again, probably should have used my mirror. Not gonna lie, folks, I uh, usually don't use the mirror. I'm just not used to it. So, I will try to get better with that, though. So I'm not sure if there's any other dungeons that it's really uh, necessary to keep going back and forth. I think it was pretty much this and the third one in the tower. But, uh, I could be wrong. I could most definitely be wrong. Alright, let's go over to the right here. And what's in here? Another key! Sweet. And we got more of those crystal monsters. Oh, can't go there. There we go. And let's use a key here. And, ah, oh, one of these bridges. And, oh my god, the bridge goes away. Ah, oh, that part was so hard when I was a kid. And we use our last key there. Yeah, that, that part was it, was... it was annoying. I can't even tell you how many times I fell. It was... yeah. <laughs> Sorry, though. I'm getting better in my old age. Eh, we don't need that chest. That's just bombs. And we are full on those. Let's kill these dinosaurs. Get a heart. Alright, ooh. That chest I do want. Excellent. It's another key. Alright, so we saw the treasure in this dungeon, but how do we get to it? Oh, well, here's a crack. When there's a crack, and it's not a plumber's, bomb it! <laughs> and we get the item of this dungeon, the magic hammer. We can now drive stakes into the ground, and we can now defeat those turtles. Excellent. Alright. Yeah, let's try to make our way through this maze again. Alright. Yeah, I don't need that. Need the bombs. So we'll just continue. Alright. And I knew that there was a bomb under here. Excellent. Alright, let's see if we uh, the hammer can be put to use. Ow! Ha! And now I can flip them on their back and take them out. Ow! And yes, if they are not on their back, you cannot take them out. Alright. And what do we have in here? The compass. Excellent. Alright. And we have more traps. And now, uh, I don't even know if you can bomb those. I, I didn't try, but I don't think they lead to anywhere except for maybe death. <clears throat> Alright. Well, well, I can't go anywhere there. Let's jump down here. Let's get rid of these crystal monsters. Ugh, they're so annoying. So annoying. We'll just hit that with our boomerang. All right. Oh, here we are, folks. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today, everyone. Uh, next video, we will continue Dungeon 1. And can we save the first maiden? Find out next time on Let's Play A Link to the Past. This is Icreon saying adieu.